Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and I hope you all had a wonderful and magical Christmas day. I had a lovely Christmas day. It was filled with a lot of good food, a lot of family and a lot of board games and that kind of thing. I just had a really lovely relaxing Christmas and I hope you did too. If you don't celebrate Christmas, no worries. You might still enjoy this video anyway because there's a lot of cool things in there. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because Santa he spoiled me this year okay then let's get started I've got two of my Christmas bags down here now something I have noticed this year that Santa got me a lot of books I have been spoilt in the book department so the first book that I received was this and it was The Art of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, written by Dermot Power. And it's stunning. It's all of the artwork and concept art from The Crimes of Grindelwald. It's, it's just gorgeous. I have one of these already and they're so pretty. Not this one, they've done a few of The Art of books for The Wizarding World and it's just gorgeous oh my goodness yeah it's a nice heavy coffee table type book but obviously I keep mine on my magical shelf so this is the first book I cannot wait to have a look through this over the next few days the next book that I received is this one and it's called moon magic and it says how to harness the power of the moon to improve your life I love the moon I can't explain my love for the moon, but it's big. And I love magical things, I love spiritual things, I love universe things. So this is really exciting to me and I can't wait to have a proper flick through this book. It even says like the moon in whatever your horoscope thing is. So I'm an Aries. Uh, yeah, I love this kind of thing. It just interests me. And what a cute little book. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna put things in between all the books that I received. So the next thing that I got for Christmas, I've wanted this for so long and it's Cards Against Humanity, a party game for horrible people. We actually played this on Christmas day with my mom, my dad, my brother, his girlfriend, and it was really, really fun. We had, we were all in hysterics basically. This is not appropriate for young humans because it you need a really dark and twisted sense of humor to play this game but really enjoyed it and I will be playing this a lot in the future cannot wait my brother and his girlfriend got me a brand new game for my PlayStation this is also one that I really wanted this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider it's the brand new Tomb Raider game now I'm used to playing them on my PC I'm fully up to date with the ones that came before this so I thought that PlayStation would be fun to play it on and I can't wait the scenery and the graphics in this game is beautiful and you get to be Lara Croft and yeah I'm really into this so I'm really excited to play this on my week off that's that's pretty much my entire plan for my week off is just to play this my dad actually got me a surprise present which I was not expecting and it's a Morphe palette this is the color burst artistry palette by Morphe and there's 35 shades to change your world and honestly it's really beautiful let me just show you how pretty it is there you go there it is there's are so many colors to play with and i'm really excited because i just love new eyeshadow palettes it's a little bit of an addiction but you get new shades in all the palettes uh there's different colors and different kind of textures of eyeshadow in all of them so you can never have enough eyeshadow palettes and this is my first morphe palette so i'm really excited to play with it next are two books by the same author or should i say poet because they're all poems they're really quite deep and sad poems and i actually bought these two books for my best friend last year but in paperback these are in hard back and these are from my parents this one is called milk and honey and this one is called the sun and her flowers if you've never read any of Rupi Kaur's work it's so beautiful and stunning and I'm so excited just to have a flick through and really read these because they're so beautiful they're so so beautiful here's one so yesterday when I woke up the sun fell to the ground and rolled away flowers beheaded themselves all that's left alive here is me and I barely feel like living so they're quite uh, deep as I was saying but I just love 
this author. I love all of the poems, so I really do recommend these. You can get them on Amazon and that kind of thing, but the hardback copies are beautiful. The paper is really textured. They're just really pretty, and I love them. These are the two books that I'm really gonna keep for a very, very long time. This is a gift from my brother and his girlfriend, and it is a bedside pocket. So as you can see on the front, it's like this kind of felt pocket that you can put your iPad in, your phone, your headphones, your Kindle. I'm definitely gonna use it for my Kindle, and that kind of thing. Or if you like to write down your dreams, you could put a dream journal in there. And yeah, really, really fun. This fits between your mattress and the bed frame. And I can't wait because I, oh, I I love spending time in my magical duvet kingdom and I spend a lot of time on my phone, on my Kindle, with books and that kind of thing. This is just perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this is by a brand called Kickerland. Dad knows that I have a massive sweet tooth and he got me this really long box called Sweet Extravaganza all of your favorites and it's by Swizzles so it's got fruity pops the orange ones are my favorite it's got refreshers drumstick lollies and love hearts and that kind of thing there's a lot of sweets in there and I cannot wait to eat them because nom 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 next up is a party game I am currently collecting games hence the cards against humanity because uh, I have always liked the idea of party games and board games like a collection of them for when I've got my own house and I invite my family and my friends over and we can just play party games. I just think it'll be really fun. So this one is brand new to my collection and it's called The Chameleon. This is by Big Potato Games. I've not played it yet, but I know that it's a good game. I did see a video on this of it being played and I enjoyed it, that's why I wanted it. So this is The Chameleon. Next up is another book. I wasn't lying when I said Santa treated me with a lot of books this year, but this is actually a journal. So this is called The Book of Dreams. It's an international bestseller apparently and it says our dreams are the diary of our lives. They are a record of our hopes, fears and desires. In this book you can start exploring the journey that your mind goes on and make sense of your nocturnal escapades. It will inspire you. It will give you an insight to yourself, your psyche and your body. It will help you understand yourself. It will also be fun. So this is a dream journey every night that you have a dream you can log everything you can write the story down you can draw parts of your dreams where you slept the date the memories from the day before the title of your dream and I just think it's such a good idea this is definitely gonna live close to my bed it'll go in my new bedside pocket <laughs> and yeah this would make such a cool video once I've filled a lot of this out maybe I could tell you some of my dreams an insight into my mind and how it works because I really do remember most of my dreams and some of them are really weird so I'm really excited about this I think it's awesome here's a little random Christmas present this was orange smarties a whole tube of orange smarties these are so delicious and they really do taste like chocolate orange and they're my favorite my brother has already raided these he is a bad sibling but yeah these are my orange smarties i just love the flavor of the orange ones because they're different from all the other boring flavors so yeah i have a whole tube of my favorite ones ah i'm just gonna no 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 i'm gonna eat the whole tube later i'm not even lying another book which is from my family is this one look how beautiful that is holograph life oh my god it looks so magical this is called raise your vibration 111 practices to increase your spiritual connection which i'm very much into this is by carl gray and it says trusting and developing your inner guidance expressing yourself in a way that's filled with the purest integrity giving and receiving in a way that is balanced manifesting and creating a life that you love and deserve and these are kind of things that they're going to help you practice um, and all of the habits to get into. I am into the law of attraction and this is very much a book that is up my street so I'm really excited to get into this. I feel like I need to take about half a year off just to read all 
all these books. I really just want to hibernate and read them all. But yeah, so if you've never heard of the law of attraction, definitely give it a Google. It's really interesting. It's how I live my day-to-day -day life. It's all about being really grateful about things and attracting things into your life and then believing in things so that they manifest. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really wild. So yeah, new book, super excited to read. There's another book down here and oh boy, it is big. The biggest book that I got for Christmas was from my dad and this was a surprise gift and it's a book of art and it's by D and K and it's the de definitive visual guide of art and if you don't know I went to college and university and studied art for many years before I did YouTube so this is a whole book on artists uh, from all time I guess and there's some stunning things in here it's like an art dictionary it'll have everything in here so I'm really excited perfect coffee table book this is definitely going to end up on one of my coffee tables in the future Okay, we are moving on to the sack of goodies from my best friend. She's called Tori and we've been best friends for about seven years and on Christmas Eve every year we do something called Squishy Christmas which is where we do our present exchanges to each other and we open our gifts in front of each other before Christmas Day. So we did that this year and it was really fun and she got me so many cool things and I love every single one of them and the first thing is this. This is make your own unicorn and glitter included to make your unicorn sparkle. How adorable is this? I'm gonna make my own unicorn. Really, really cute. It must be like Play-Doh and it will harden or something. That would be really cool. Either way, super cute. I love magical things like this. It's, it's very, it's very Tory. She loves unicorns and now she is spreading her unicorn joy to me. She also got me a Harry Potter mug. Now I did already have this one. This is risky business buying me Harry Potter things because I usually have them, but I am really pleased with this because I tend to keep my culture mugs for display items, but this one I can actually use and I can have hot chocolates in it with whipped cream and marshmallows. So so yeah, this is my new hot chocolate mug and I'm, I might use this later on actually. It's really pretty and it says the Leaky Cauldron. Honestly, these are so beautiful and on the back it says Diagonale. I love this mug so much. It's definitely one of my favorite mugs in my collection. I also got the softest notebook of all time and it's of Pasheen. It's so soft. Seriously, I just want to stroke this. They need to make like a duvet in this material because it's so good. It's just a simple lined notebook. Inside there are little images of Pasheen but yeah how cute is that she knows that I love cats and this is so so soft the next thing I am absolutely over the moon about I'm obsessed with the fragrance of oranges and I feel as though it's really hard to find Bath and Beauty products that smell like oranges but she won and did it she went and did it, she knows me so well. This is the Bayless and Harding Skin Spa and everything smells like Neroli and Orange Blossom. So they all smell like oranges. I am gonna treat myself so good with this set and I can't wait, look, oh my God. There's like body cream, body cleanser, bath foam. I can have orange scented baths, oh my God. Tori also got me this really cool build your own neon sign. I did joke that I was gonna make a really naughty word with it, but I'm not going to. But you can make your own neon sign. You can make it spell out whatever you want. There's like three meters of neon lights in there. And this is a really thoughtful present. I really like this. It's kind of like DIY and it's kind of magical because it's lights. I really, really enjoy this. I'm definitely gonna make this soon. And what a fun gift. What a really fun gift idea. Now, I have a confession to make. I am obsessed with Nutella. I keep making Nutella toasties. I get through jars really quickly. And look, she got me a book of the 30 best recipes, including Nutella. And honestly, she's just trying to make me overweight, I swear. So you can make like Nutella cheesecakes, creme brulee with Nutella, banana tartlets with Nutella, mini coconut, Palmiers. I don't even know what that is, but they look really, really good. And it shows you all of the things that you can make with a Nutella. This is really squishy as well. Um, I love this so much. This was such a thoughtful gift. And my final gift from Tori is this. I have never seen these anywhere. These are Disney um, face mask collection. It's a beauty fairy tale. So inside, when you open it on up, 
you get like these face masks and they actually have faces of the Disney princesses. So when you put them on, you'll end up looking like Ariel or Jasmine or Belle. I just think they're so sweet. I love face masks. I also have a face mask collection. I swear I've got a collection for everything, but <laughs> I just love these so much. I really can't wait to use the Ariel one as she is my favorite Disney princess. Now this year I did buy myself a gift the day after Christmas. <laughs> Uh, it was very much a big treat yourself moment, but I've worked really hard this year and I just fancy treating myself, so I did. I don't usually splash out on things that cost a lot of money, but hey, sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. I, I, I did this, I, I bought myself a brand new phone. I got the iPhone XS Max, it's beautiful. I got it in the color gold and yeah, I treated myself. So I might have to do an updated what I, what's on my iPhone video maybe soon, but yeah. So that's my Christmas present to myself <laughs> and that's it. That's everything that I got for Christmas this year. I am seeing some family tomorrow, so I might get a few little bits, but these are all the main things from my main family and my best friends so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you got for christmas down below and i guess i will see you all very soon i hope you had a magical christmas i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye